Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over a station model. In the United States, the National Weather Service and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration collect and analyze weather data. The National Weather Service just produces weather maps from information gathered from about a thousand weather stations. On these maps, each station is represented by a station model. Let's go over some of the things a station model gives you. So here would be an example of a station model. So let's kind of go through each symbol and what you can do to figure out what it's telling you. Let's start in the middle first with this round dot here. This is the total amount of clouds and the cloud coverage. You could use a chart like this to help you have an idea of the percentage of cloud coverage. Next, let's move in a counterclockwise fashion. You have the wind speed in knots. It also gives you the direction. A small line equals five knots, a larger one equals 10, and a triangle is 50 knots. Next, you have the temperature, and in the US, it'll be in Fahrenheit. Next, you have the visibility in miles. Next, you have present weather. And in this particular example, you have uh, snow in flakes. But you would use a chart similar to this to figure out what the present weather is. Next, you have the dew point. The dew point is a measure of the temperature in which the atmosphere is saturated. Cooler air holds less moisture than warm air. The closer the temperature and the dew point, the greater the relative humidity and the opposite, the larger the spread, the less the relative humidity. Next, we have cloud types. Again, you would use charts like this with the different clouds and their symbols, and this would give you an idea of which clouds you have. Next, you have the height of a cloud base, and it is a scale between 0, 1, 2, etc and roughly each number represents around 300 feet. You would use this chart. Next, we have the part of the sky covered by the lowest cloud. Again, you would use a chart to tell you the percentage, and the chart would look like this. Next, let's move on to the amount of precipitation in the last six hours. This is measured in inches. You have the weather in the past six hours. You would use a chart similar to this to figure out what the weather is like. Now, this area is about the barometric pressure. And you know the barometric pressure is a good predictor of weather. Uh, first, this plus or minus tells you if it is going up or down. Next is the current reading. And then the tendency. Uh, you would use a chart like this, and it would tell you if the barometric pressure is going up or down in the past three hours. And then next we have the barometric pressure at sea level. And finally, uh, you have clouds. You have high clouds and low clouds. And again, you would use a cloud chart to figure out what the clouds would be. Lots and lots of information giving at given at a station model. It will be helpful if you have the different symbols in their charts, but it's a great way to figure out what the weather is going to be, what is happening, if it's changing, etc. There we go. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.